The Slavs arose out of the Lusatian culture of Eastern Europe, ultimately descending from the Unitist people of Central Europe. Descending from the Unitist, Corded Ware and Belbiker cultures, the Slavs shared common ancestry with Germanics and Celts. During the migration period, the Slavs began to rapidly expand across Eastern Europe, displacing the Balts, Uralics and Iranic people in Russia, Germanic and Celtic speakers in Central Europe, and Illyrians, Dacians and Thracians in the Balkans. Slavs practiced agriculture and animal herding. Their pottery was simple and usually bell-shaped. For this video, I gathered the genomes of 23 medieval Slavs that retained the majority of their Slavic ancestry. Two of these samples are Byzantine Slavs who are closest to Poles, two are Balkan Slavs who are closest to Bosnians and Serbs, and the rest are Slavic samples from Russia, most from Suzdal, and one from Sungir, mostly resembling modern Central Russians. I used my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis to analyze their DNA contents. The links to purchase the raw genomes, as well as my trait predictor tool, will be in the description of the video. I usually group North Pointed, Hallstatt, Norid, and Corded phenotypes into one group I call Nordic, but in this case I decided to split them into separate groups to make the prediction more precise. The most common phenotypes were Corded and Hallstatt, followed by Denarid and Norid, although other phenotypes were found as well. Here is a morph of the average predicted phenotype. The most common predicted eye color was blue, but the majority of the samples did not have blue eyes. The second most common eye color was hazel. The most common predicted hair colors were dark blonde and dark brown, and one sample was predicted to have red hair. One sample was predicted to have light brown hair, and one sample was predicted to have black hair. No samples were predicted to have light blonde hair. The most common predicted skin colors were white and olive, and one sample scored palest skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture was wavy, followed by curly and straight, but two samples did score kinky hair texture. The most common nose shape among the early Slavs is Greek, although snub-shaped nose was also found in 7 out of 23 samples. More than half of the samples were predicted to be taller than average in height. Regarding the warrior versus warrior trait, the early Slavs seem to have an equal predisposition to warrior and warrior phenotypes. The Slavs seem predisposed to an average availability of D2 receptor sites, which leads to average predisposition to no-go learning and schizophrenia. However, the Slavs seem to be very protected from bipolar 1, which is probably due to the effect of other genes besides their D2. The Slavs have an average predisposition to Alzheimer's and an average predisposition to ADHD. One of the 23 Slavic samples, a sample from the Byzantine Empire, had a long form 5-HTTLPR, which leads to a significant reduction in the odds of depression. Long form 5-HTTLPR is most common in Europeans. The Slavic samples had a strong predisposition to autism, and 10 of them were predicted to be lactase persistent. The Slavic samples had a predisposition to lower level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The Slavic samples are predisposed to a lower odds of cardiovascular issues, which is good, and average homocysteine levels. Regarding athleticism, the sprinter allele in ACTN3's R577X are was slightly underrepresented among the Slavs compared to European average. The medieval Slavs had lower odds of alcohol dependence, which certainly breaks some stereotypes. The medieval Slavs had significantly elevated odds of epithelial cancers based on 8q24 genotypes. The medieval Slavs also had elevated odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype, which does reflect on their predisposition to such autoimmune conditions like type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and ankylosing spondylitis. The medieval Slavs had a very strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes. They also had a very strong predisposition to multiple sclerosis, with 8 samples being HLA-DRB1 carriers. 
They had a relatively high predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis as well. Their predisposition to metabolic type 2 diabetes, however, was rather average or typical. They also had rather average glucose levels and an average predisposition to obesity. They had a predisposition to higher level of LDL cholesterol, which is bad, and none of them were predicted to have hemochromatosis. Most of them had lower red blood cell count and shorter telomere length, reflecting a predisposition to shorter biological lifespan. The medieval Slavs were predisposed to an average level of vitamin D. The medieval Slavs had below average odds of syncope. The most common blood type in medieval Slavs was type A, followed by type O, although three samples did also belong to type AB and two samples did also belong to type B. Thank you for patiently watching until the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and share. Goodbye.